Hello Rhinos, are you looking for new meals to help you reverse your type 2 diabetes? Well this is the video for you. Today we're going to be doing Corgetti Spaghetti. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type two diabetes and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition and I wanna help you do the same. Let's get into it. Right, so what we're going to need today is we're going to need courgettes. Now, if you wanted to cook this for a family of three, okay, everyone was having courgettes, you probably need about five courgettes. And each court, two packs of two courgettes cost about 79 pence in the UK anyway. So I would imagine it's roughly the same. We're going to be using, shout it out, love, how much mince is in here? 500, is it? 500 grams of mince, is three. which is enough for three. We're going to be using turkey mince, and this costs, and you use whatever mince you prefer, you know, but this costs about £3.50 in the UK. Then the only other real ingredients you're going to need is this tomato sauce, which you can check on the back for sugars and things like that. This particular one for the whole jar, which we're gonna use between three of us as uh, 7.8 of carbs, 5.7 with sugars. So when you divide that by the three, it's not, it's not, it's not too bad at all, okay? But there are versions which are, have lower, you just need to have a look. And this costs about 89 pence, 89 pence. I'd like you to, I, we're, we're unveiling the mask now aren't we because you can see I'm asking questions and then the other thing you're going to need is some olive oil you, you know you're probably talking for the amount of olive oil you're going to use today you're talking a few pennies and really what I'm trying to show you is explain to you here is this doesn't have to be expensive and the only other thing which we have is a spiralizer I know it looks like a device for so <laughs> but we're going to use that for making the courgettes into spaghetti. You can use these to make vegetable, vegetable spaghetti if you're not a big fan of courgettes. So lots of alternatives there. Okay, so let's get into the cooking. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put a tablespoon of the olive oil in. I recommend that you uh, avoid vegetable oil because there's no such thing as vegetable oil. And then what we're gonna do is put it on a medium heat. Wait for that to warm up. And then what we're gonna do is add our mince, or whichever one you choose. And then we're gonna stir crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're gonna stir it as much as possible at the beginning and we're waiting for it to turn from that deep red or pink color in this case to a gray, uh, more of a brownie color. Takes a few minutes for that to happen. But you can see that beginning to brown up as we stir it around. So this is the final look, what you're looking for. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drain all the excess fat out of here now. So we're gonna put the lid on here. We've got the small holes there, and we're gonna put on the lip side so we can drain it. Okay then guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in a uh, pinch of ground pepper. Some salt. A 
a teaspoon of basil. A teaspoon of oregano. A teaspoon of garlic. And we're gonna give that a good mix. Then we're going to put the sauce in. So then, once all that's in, you stir it, make sure it's all mixed in. And we want to make sure that it's all steamed through, which takes about three minutes on a medium heat. Okay then guys, so next we're going to do is the courgette spaghetti. What we're going to do is going to cut off the ends here and here. Now when you buy these spiralizers, okay, and I am going to Amazon link, okay? So when you buy these spiralizers, you want to, they come with different settings. So that's these things here. You want to use the smallest one for courgette spaghetti. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this back we're gonna put this on the end here and attach these spikes into there. Now, if you can lock it, because what we're gonna be doing is as we're moving it, we're gonna be pulling it towards the other end so it closes, unless you've got an automatic one, fancy one. <laughs> And then the next thing we're going to do is put this in the pan. Okay, so I've put the courgette spaghetti in the pan. Before I turn the heat on, I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit of that in there. Then we're going to put a pinch of ground pepper in. A little bit of salt. Then we're going to turn, we're then going to move it all around, mix it all in. And then we're going to heat all of this up. So we're going to put it on full blast. Technical cooking term that is. And we're going to stir this, we're going to let this go for about eight minutes, okay? Once you, get a few, once you get to the last few minutes, then you can put the mince back on, put your grated cheese on top, organic grated cheese obviously, and we'll have a finished product. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour this into, we're gonna pour, pour the courgette into the sieve because we want to get all the excess water off. And once we've done this, what's important is to push the courgette spaghetti with the bottom of the spoon there, because you'll be surprised how much water gets pushed out at the bottom. finishing touches put the cheese on and there you've got your courgette spaghetti which I am about to enjoy now I worked out this works out at about I don't know maybe two pound twenty a meal which if you compare that to eating a Big Mac meal which is about 450 fiver I'm not sure it's been a while <laughs> you can see when people say to you it's more expensive to eat healthy. 
it's not even close. I hope you enjoyed that courgette spaghetti. Now, if you're a type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic and you want to reverse your condition naturally, then please go to the description below and click on the link and I'll send you a webinar with the five steps that our clients take to reverse their type 2 diabetes. And if you like what I got to say, I look forward to seeing you on a call. I'm going to put a list there of other foods that you can eat as a type 2 diabetic. And remember, you're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge. Mm -hmm.